Hey, how are you doing? Great to see you and welcome to Beetle Brad's channel. Glad to see you and glad to have you here. Okay, warning, this is not my typical video. This is going to be pretty crazy. All right, um, where do I start? I am, I'm just so wound up right now, I really am. I haven't been medicated, <laughs> probably should, but there's a brand new John Lennon coming out, album, CD, box set, vinyl, 8-track, cassette, two CDs, three CDs, three vinyl. It's coming out in so many different forms and so many different variations that it's, it's aggravating for one. Two, we'll get into more of the discussion. But Andrew Dixon, Joe Mayo, Matthew Street. Let's see, who else can I nail in this video? <laughs> Got plenty are talking about this and we're all kind of on the fence about what to get or what not to get or what to get. But uh, for me, this is a ripoff. Okay. I've said it. And I know Matthew street kind of feels this way and Andrew Dixon. And, and so does Joe Mayo. We're all friends. We're all friends in the vinyl community. It's, it's not like there's a huge deal of, of, fussing and fighting my friend but you know come on okay to start off here's a compilation here's another compilation another john lennon compilation just grabbing cds instead of the vinyl just to make it quicker when i did this another compilation another compilation a fairly recent new compilation and then another compilation do we need another compilation yoko come on i know you know yoko's getting older and i understand that i understand yoko's getting up in age and maybe she's passed the reins over to sean you know now maybe that's a possibility okay well Let's go with Sean first. Let's let's start off with that one, I I guess. I don't know. But Sean is is it's not the greatest picture for black and white for John Lennon. The bootleggers are the ones that do the, the pictures the best. This picture of John looks like Sean from the side, and I don't know if Sean is trying to to make it look like he's in this or or what, but it looks like Sean from the side picture. And I just the black and white just doesn't do anything for me. The black and white picture is just, you know, oh, like this, you know. Um, so, yeah, this is my, I guess this is Beetle Brad's rant video because I just don't see why we should buy another compilation album. I'm on the fence about what to get. You know, I mean, yeah, I'm interested in the vinyl. Yeah, it probably sounds really terrific. And it probably has fantastic sound, but you know, I may lean towards the CD if if I get it. Um, oh, another compilation. We started off with Shea Fish. That was that was kind of the beginning one that kind of started this all off. And yeah, John was alive when that came out, and there's some songs on there, but that didn't make it to an album. But anyway, that was kind of the first. Back to what I was saying. I just don't see what this is all about you know we've got record store day coming up there's a john lennon 45 coming out for record store day okay yeah that's kind of still the same songs you know all that kind of stuff yeah it's still this kind of same thing um but it's just just continually milking us constantly and see this this is the problem with elvis um, I love Elvis. I love all the Elvis stuff. You know, I, I really am into it. I really enjoy it. But you got like Elvis Gold, Elvis Greatest Hits, Elvis Compilations, Elvis Number Ones, Elvis Number Twos, Elvis Number One in UK, Elvis Number Ones in Portugal. You know, you got, you know, Elvis Greatest Hits. You know, they, they have milked all of the Elvis people to where they're just so dried up where there's plenty of bootlegs on Elvis as well. There's there's plenty of Elvis stuff out there instead of rehashing the same thing. And this is where this is falling into this category where where Yoko and Sean are falling into this category of just rehashing the same thing. 
there's plenty of really good bootlegs like this one um, with the lost linens. There's there's plenty of songs that have not been released. Sean, Yoko, you guys need to put out stuff that has not been put out like this. You know, the, the demos, the lost linen stuff. Those... Yeah, maybe some of them aren't the best sound quality, but you still could clean them up. You still could make them to where they're enjoyable and still listening. You know, here's a, here's another Lost Linden one. You know, that's that's another terrific one. Or or even this one. There's there's stacks of those Lost Linens that could be done. Or if you don't want to go that route, the one-to-one -one concert. Nobody talks about that. There was a day show and there was an evening show. There were two different ones and a little bit of variations in them. I've got both of them on DVD, well, VHS, and I transferred them to DVD. I don't know if they're out there. They might be out there on bootleg, but let's put out a clean, crisp, beautiful Blu-ray of both concerts. You know, you want to put something out for John's anniversary um, for October the 9th. Yeah, I get it. Okay, you want to keep the legacy going. You want to keep John alive and all that kind of stuff. Personally, I think you're killing him <laughs> by putting this out. It's just rubbish. It really is. You know, okay, yeah, you get a fantastic, you know, big color booklet inside of it. Okay. Well, this kind of started off the John Lennon books when this came out, when John Lennon's movie came out. That's a nice book. Then we had this one that came out last year. And this is a real nice book, real nice thick. I've got over there stacks of John Lennon and Beatle books. Another great John Lennon book. So yeah, there might be some pictures and there might be some great stuff in that that has not been released. Yeah, that might be nice, but how many more books can you add to this? <sighs> I know I'm going on and I'm ranting, but like this, this is fantastic. Now this is what, this is what Sean and Yoko should be doing. This is got two CDs and a DVD. This makes more sense. There's unreleased tracks pretty much throughout this whole entire thing, and it opens up as a, as a threefold, and you get nice pictures. You get nice booklet in here as well. And I guarantee you this is nowhere near the cost of what this new one's going to be coming out. So maybe you might be getting it. Maybe you won't be getting it. But this is just my kind of, I don't know, releasing steam, I guess. <laughs> Talking about this new John Lennon. I, I just don't see it. I really don't. I just don't understand why we need another John Lennon uh, vinyl greatest hits. It just doesn't make sense to me. So, um, I know this is really kind of crazy and a lot different than my normal videos, but I'm just kind of making a point. I'm going somewhere with this. I just don't see where it's, it's worthwhile. There's plenty of other stuff that needs to be released. There's plenty of other things that they could do. You know, there's just so much more out there that they could do. So, I guess we can only just imagine what else is out there.